Well, it is a mystery that could have come straight out of a Stephen King novel. Skeletal remains unearthed in the tiny town of Cornish. Excavation crews made the discovery earlier this week next to the Cornish Town Hall, which used to be a cemetery. WMTW News 8's Jim Keithley brings us the latest developments. After finding eight sets of human remains behind the Cornish Town Hall, the excavator who was hired to install a new drainage pipe is confident there are no more bodies. Town records suggest there might be 13 people who were buried here on what was an old town cemetery on Maple Street. Here's a photo from the early 1900s. We're about a mile down the road from that excavation site. This is the Riverside Cemetery where all of those remains were supposed to have been moved to from that excavation site back in the 20s when they built the new town hall. In the 1920s, maybe they, you know, they moved what was in the way of the building and, and left the rest. And uh, that's, that's a theory that keeps coming to me that makes the most sense. They need shoddy work. They thought it was too much work to move bodies. Back then, there weren't rules like we have now. Diane Perkins of the Cornish Historical Society feels bad for the families who haven't stepped forward yet. The town's selectmen saying it would be too costly to hire an archaeologist to see exactly what's left in the ground, if anything. They're poring over documents and old photos to see who did the excavation work back in the 20s. And the theories abound as to what happened to the graveyard as the new town hall foundation was being dug. I don't know how difficult it would have been to exhume and move those remains back then. Uh, they may have felt that it, it might have compromised those graves even more. They probably didn't anticipate back then that we'd be excavating with huge equipment here today. The human remains are being analyzed at the state medical examiner's office. But now, this town's history books might have to add a new page. People are going to wonder. If there are actual people there still there now, are buried there. They also wonder what's in the ground at the Riverside Cemetery in lot number 40, the area where all 13 people should have been moved. In Cornish, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.